Hi everyone. Today we'll talk about Obergein. So, what is Obergein? Or what is obstetrics and gynecology? Obergein are two abbreviated words which stand for obstetrics and gynecology respectively. Obstetrics is the study of pregnancy and childbirth while gynecology deals with female reproductive health. The two fields are often combined because of the many areas of specialization that they share. Keep in mind that you are your own best advocate in searching for medical advice and services. Now, whether you are going for your first visit or have been doing this regularly for quite some time now, there are things you need to be aware of, and also remember, before seeing the specialist. The following is a list of six helpful things to consider and prepare before your visit to a local Lobangain specialists. You randomly pick a name of a physician from your health insurance list. You could end up unable to disclose important health information because you are not comfortable discussing it with your current doctor. Get referrals from friends or family members instead. Also consider whether you prefer a male or a female specialist or prefer a younger or an older one. You have the option to speak with one first and ask questions to know whether you share similar health care philosophies and values. See if there is good rapport before you sign up. Feel free to ask to end any uncomfortable encounters. And in case you are unhappy with your current care, switch to a more preferred one. You must face the tougher issues first. According to a research, those who consult the issues immediately, rate their office visit better. Discussing issues like sex drive or anything highly personal and emotional right away will give you appropriate time to talk about matters which are bears more significance to you and help you get over the anxiety surrounding it easier. Be aware of your medical history. Consult your mother or anyone in the family to know if polycystic ovarian syndrome, breast cancer, or any medical problem runs in the family. This can be important in assessing any genetic susceptibility which you may have. Remember to get a pap smear by 21 and know your type of pap. A lot of women do not have any idea about the type they just went through. The more modern forms filter out unnecessary liquids such as blood to ensure the accuracy of the results. Most clinics adopt this new method. But in case you receive the conventional one, you will surely acquire an accurate reading when it is done during the time of menstruation or after. You douche prior to your scheduled consultation. This is highly discouraged. Your reproductive system has a natural way of cleaning itself. When you douche, you might push vaginal bacteria up into your uterus, which will not only affect some tests negatively but will also be bad for your body. Make your visit regular. Once a year or annually is the recommended rate at how often you should see your obergyne. Many women have not seen their specialists in the past year. There may be self-check methods to detect breast cancer and other complications but manual exams at the clinic are still more effective. You do not even need a reason to schedule your visit. It is recommended that you start so and do it regularly to build a relationship with your gynecologist and help you discuss important topics and advices ahead of time. If this is now your annual thing, taking note of these will improve your experience. For the latest information about an obergyne, stay true to our channel. Do not forget to share this video a six-point guide to obergyne every woman should read with your family and friends. Thank you.